So today, we're gonna come clean on this whole mysterious things are changing in our life business. Welcome back to Mission Viewfinder. Um, so thank you guys for praying. We're gonna tell you the story of what has been happening and how God has been leading. But first, we're gonna tell you the story before the story or something like that. It first came to our minds back in January. There was a newsletter asking people to pray for Nakhon Suwon, which is a city in central Thailand that needs missionaries. And so we um, were already asked to go and film there, um, kind of to put out the need and, and pray for missionaries to come. And the thought just entered our minds, well, well, what if we went there? So that was something that we talked about and prayed about and just kind of left it in God's hands. <laughs> we'll edit out the transitions. And as you can imagine, because we already had that thought like going around in our heads, you know, what if we moved there? By the time we actually came to Nakhon Suwon, we saw things through like totally different eyes. And as we got to meet different people, it was just like, wow, maybe this is somebody that we could actually end up getting to build a relationship with. Not just like, you know, we're seeing them on this trip and then we'll never see them again, but maybe these could actually be long-term relationships. We could lead people to Jesus. And just, we spent a lot of time that weekend that we were down here praying for this city, praying with some people who came here to pray with us for it, praying with people around the world who joined in a prayer call about it. And it really just grew the burden in our hearts, especially as we read things about just God's call for work in the cities. It was like, how could we not come? But then as we got home and we're praying about it more, it was like, is this really what God wants us to do? Like, how do we know if it's his will? Like, how are we to know for sure what he wants for us? So one thing we did was we ended up talking to our parents, we talked to some different people, just counseled with them, you know, what is your input, what are your thoughts on this, are we crazy, or is this something we should pursue, and nothing really was like saying, you know, no, you shouldn't go, and so the conclusion we finally came to was, It'd be better to move forward with going than to sit here and do nothing. So if we move forward and going, at least God can steer us. You know, he can't steer a ship that isn't moving. He could stop us. Whatever God decides to do, he can do. So we decided, unless God closes the door, we're going to we're gonna go. We're going to move forward with this. So we had a bit of a uh, 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 difficulty there because we wanted to come and, you know, move and look for houses. But there's this thing called COVID. Don't know if you've heard about that recently. But anyway, um, it was, you know, getting a little bit more intense in places here in Thailand. And so um, there were some restrictions on travel and stuff like that. And so we couldn't come down and look for houses. So we um, were looking online. And I spent probably, I mean, every couple days, if not every day, I was looking. And... Uh, there was a lot of places that would work, um, but they were for sale, and we wanted to rent. And so, um, I just kept, you know, and we would call them and say, hey, you know, you got this house for sale, do you want to rent it? No, definitely not. <laughs> and uh, then we found this house that was like, oh, hey, like, that could work. There was some space, you know, for like, gardening and stuff, and it was like, yeah, that could work. It looked like it was like at the end of a little country road out in the middle of nowhere. Come to find out it's on the main highway going through Thailand. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So I had a hard time like giving up the idea of like wanting to rent that house even though I knew it was right next to the highway. Then there was this house that actually was for sale and for the first time ever we asked about this house that was for sale and somebody actually was like hey you know maybe we could rent it and we were kind of shocked by that because everybody else was just like no or why don't you just buy it like please buy my house and it was actually looking like kind of a possibility there was plenty of space for a garden but there were some drawbacks and so we were kind of torn and then you know what god just like there was one thing that god made clear and it was just like nope 
that's a closed door. And I was actually quite relieved because, because of some of the other drawbacks about the house. It was just like, okay, I'm actually glad it's not that house, but God had a reason for bringing us to that house. So when we were thinking about that house, we thought, you know, we could just say, oh, we want to rent it and then just like go down and look at it and then confirm. Um, and then we got this thought, well, hey, maybe we could go and stay with our friends who live closer to Nakansuan and just go drive down there and then drive back. And so we're not actually staying in Nakansuan because they had a 14 day quarantine. Um, if you come into the province and, and so that was, that was one of the big hindrances. And so God used that house that they, you know, seemed like they were willing to rent it. God used that whole situation to get us with this thought, oh, we could go down and actually look, just be really careful and, you know, not stay there. And we could, we could look at houses. So we went ahead and came down the very next week to look for houses and we came to the same area that I told you the story about on Testimony Tuesday uh, a couple days ago. Um, and we're looking around and there were lots of places that looked great except people, you know, were living there and enjoying them themselves and didn't want to rent them, of course. So um, there was one house that we had seen in March and we, you know, asked about it and they said, well, they want to sell it and um, we called. And they said, you know, we, Hannah said, you know, you willing to rent it? Like, no, we're, we're only selling. And we were driving away like, okay, so should we just go to a completely different area? Like, I was getting a little bit discouraged and just like, is there anything, you know, Lord, what's going on? And like, as we were driving out of this area, my phone rang. And it was a number I hadn't called, but I answered the phone and this lady was like, so you're interested in renting our house? She's like, we'll rent it to you for, you know, this amount of money and da 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 And I'm like, okay, like, was it the pink house? Like, we weren't sure exactly about how she was talking about. Anyway, she sent pictures and turns out it was the house that we had just been told no about. And so we were kind of confused. We're like, did the husband and wife like have a dispute over it? Because he had said no and here she says yes. But anyway, um, turns out she was like, you know, the, the water supply just isn't good. It's on village water, there's hardly any water. But you know, if you want to drill a well like the neighbor did, um, we'll let you drill a well like in place of rent for however long it's equal to rent payments. And we were like, huh, that would be interesting. Like maybe this is a possibility. So then we came back to look at the house, talk to the neighbor, asked him about his well, and he actually used to own this house, or the property. And so he showed us, you know, where the property is and everything, and there were some things about it that looked really, really good. We were like really interested. Um, but there was one particular thing that was a big deal, and it was a deal breaker. Um, if it couldn't get resolved and we're gonna tell you about that next week so I hope this has been an encouragement to you that God does work he does lead and you'll hear the rest of the story next week if you're not subscribed I recommend subscribing and hitting the bell so you get the notification when that video goes live we'll see you then God bless <laughs>